Here's something you've probably never seen before. This is a driveway. I know you've seen a driveway, but this is a very special driveway made out of a material called pervious concrete. Pervious concrete is just like regular concrete minus the sand. In other words, it's got um, Portland cement holding together particles of aggregate, which is basically little pieces of crushed rock. No sand. The sand normally fills in the interstices between the rocks and causes the surface to be impervious to water. This allows water to soak in. It's kind of like a rice cake. Um, and all the little pieces have voids in between and the water will go down through. Why would that possibly matter to anyone? Well, here's why. When water hits a conventional paved surface, it runs off. It's not going to soak in. It's going to run off. And when it hits a driveway, it runs off into the gutter. When it gets to the gutter, two problems begin to occur. The first one is that it floods the street. Sometimes that's a problem if your drainage isn't too good or if you have heavy torrential rainfall. Urban flooding is a really big problem. For example, the Los Angeles Basin is 78% paved or roofed. 78% of the land is impervious, which means that only 22% is soaking up water. The net effect then is A, urban flooding, and then second thing, which is really important, B, all that water goes and ends up somewhere in the streams, in a lake, in a river, or in the ocean, causing tremendous amounts of pollution because all sorts of junk falls on the land, falls on the street, falls in your driveway. Aerial particle pollutants and, not to be too indelicate, but dog poop and garbage and all sorts of junk that builds up over our very long dry season here in California and eventually reaches a level that when it gets concentrated in those bodies of water you have tremendous problems. Bacteria, um, all kinds of water pollution, really a big deal. So the idea of a pervious pavement is to allow the water to remain on site. It doesn't go anywhere. It actually soaks through this material, stays on site with a third benefit which is watering the plants that are nearby. The roots are actually getting under this material and they're taking that water. It's a much, much better way to go. It's such a good idea that municipalities all over the state and all over the country are beginning to require this material on a lot of the development projects. This was the first pervious concrete residential driveway in California here at my house and it was quite a production when we put it in about eight years ago. It's worked really well. I've been really, really happy with it. And I just wanted to tell you a little bit about it so that you can consider it if you have an application where it might work. And it's not only for driveways, by the way. They've done pervious concrete walkways, sidewalks, patios, and whatnot. It's load-bearing. It will take any kind of ve reasonable vehicle traffic. Um, it's about the same cost as a conventional concrete driveway. Sometimes it's a little more, sometimes it's a little less, but one of the really interesting things about cost is that because it's pervious, you don't need to think about drainage. Normally you might have a drain and a drain pipe that takes the water away, and that costs money to put in. Sometimes it can be very, very expensive. The water's not going to go anywhere, so you've eliminated the need for that drainage system, which means that even if the driveway itself costs more, it's going to cost less when you take out the drainage system. So cost is not a factor. Durability is not a factor. Um, these have been down in places in Florida and the southeast for 30 years or more, and they still work perfectly well. This material will absorb water at the rate of 300 to 400 inches per hour, per hour. Now, that's important because, first of all, it could plug up, and you're going to lose absorption. Well, at 350 inches per hour, you can really plug it up before it becomes a significant fact. Here's why. Our rainfall in Santa Barbara, where this driveway is located, is 18 inches of rain per year. So we're talking about what? A, a huge, a huge two, 20 times the annual rainfall per hour. This could almost completely plug up and it would still soak up all the rain that could possibly fall here. So it's essentially a zero runoff paving element. Um, maintenance is minimal. Um, rake it once in a while. You can power vacuum it out if, if it gets really plugged up. 
I've had this driveway for eight years. I've cleaned it out with a vacuum uh, twice and I've power washed it twice. And the rest of the time I just rake the leaves off of it and that's about it. It's a very, very low maintenance material. And if you want to see how it works, watch this. This is so cool. Normally when you dump water on a driveway, you know what happens. It ponds up and it starts to run off. Check this out. The water soaks in and disappears. Let me show you this another way. Here's a block of colored material, same thing. If we apply water to this, watch what happens. It's going through the concrete. Through the concrete. That means it's staying on the land, it's going to work for you, it's not causing flooding, and it's not polluting anything. So this is a really great material. There's a lot of information on it. You could probably at this point just Google pervious concrete. If you're in California or Nevada, there's an organization called the California Nevada Cement Council, um, and they have a lot of information on pervious concrete. It has to be put in, by the way, it has to be put in by a certified installer. It's a different process than pouring regular concrete. It's actually fairly challenging to do unless you've had the training and some special equipment. Um, but there are contractors all throughout California now and throughout the United States here and there as it's growing in popularity. So you shouldn't have too much trouble finding someone to do it, but don't hire just a regular cement contractor to do it because they won't know what they're doing. It's a little bit tricky to deal with. I've been really happy with it. Clients have been really happy with it. It's gone down in many, many public places, parking lots, um, even roadways, low-speed low roadways where the vehicle speed is 25, 30 miles an hour. Um, it's a fantastic material. It's really making a difference in our water quality and in our flooding problems. So um, give it a consideration if you have a site like this that's relatively flat um, and that's causing runoff problems now, or if you need a new driveway, this is definitely something to consider. Thanks a lot.